tell I have a guest today. And we turn. No, we're not. Oh, we ain't. Anyways. So, we wanted the dandy. I am Siobhan's best friend. So, we wanted to talk to you. Well, this isn't even my video. Today, I'm going to talk to y'all about. So today I'm going to talk to y'all about what are my favorite products. It's going to be skincare, vitamins, lipsticks, lip glosses, primers, everything you can think of. We're going to be talking about it today. So, I'm going to just jump right into it because my demos, not demos, <laughs> my intros be too dang on long. So I'm going to just jump right into it and we just going to make this video as quick. As fast as possible. Yes. We'll get you off the shit. Alright. Not the big mama. This is the hair, skin, and nails um gummies by Vitafusion. And these gummies are lit. Yes, I had to get ratchet with y'all. But they are lit. Like these really work. Oh, that one the litness. How lit is it? Trillion. So, okay, what well, these are really thinking good like they really work I've seen a lot of girls on the beauty page that I'm subscribed to not subscribed to but yeah subscribe. it's not really subscribed but the beauty page that I'm on on Facebook and a lot of the women use these and I've seen some really good results and since I've been using them hair nails toes everything just been looking <laughs> <Really? laughs> I'm playing Please all fleek but these are really good and I really, really, really think y'all ladies should go out here and get some vitamins for your hair, skin, and nails. Like, who, who no, would really. use these? Exactly. Like, Jalen even be trying to sneak these. He's just That's like, what they think he's they think He thinks they're candy. Anyways, so we got these in every last one of my videos. These are my holy grails. Like, these are um, high-end makeup, but... These are my holy grail, especially this. I know you guys, you can tell like the bottle is like almost gone. But this is my Becca um, Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Now I'm telling you, ladies, if you have oily skin like me, you are going to love this. Like, if I can just make it an affordable baby, this would be my baby. Bit Milan's my baby, but this would be my baby. Like, I love this primer. I don't have like a light skin tone, but I don't have a dark skin tone either, so I kind of have to 
blend too to make my complexion. But okay, so the thing about the spicy brown, the spicy brown kind of has a orange undertone. So if you're trying to appeal lighter than what you are, I wouldn't suggest this one. But I will say that the consistency of this foundation is amazing. And so is this one. They're basically the same, just to differentiate. What do I look like? I look like. Who like don't want to be black at the end of the day? I like the my skin complexion. <laughs> anyway, like, yeah, these are these are my oh holy grails, whatever she calls them. But yeah, so if you guys don't want to spend you know thirty five, a hundred dollars, which no, I don't know if y'all have it, but if y'all do, should be my guest. Send one to me or her. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to put y'all on. But anyway, yeah, use these like. Take these to your full advantage because I went through two bottles and I want to say less than two months. So yeah, these are the shit. Oop, sorry. Watching that. Anyways, in other words, these are my go-to. Um, <laughs> these are the only things that I use now. I don't use Mac. I don't use my Kat Von D. I don't think I have another foundation. Are you tripping? Why you don't use your Kat Von D? It don't match me, and she got my color, so I don't like matching with other people, so other colors. Well, I so like I don't want to be too dark and too light one day, and then yeah, it's gonna look right. So now I'm gonna talk about my glow well, kit. Well, well, well. <laughs> if I could just make it a baby, to be a baby. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm lying. I'm gonna be right That's back. fucking weird. That's weird. Anyways, so. I'm going to talk about my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Now, this right here is one of my, another one of my holy grails. I really, 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 really love this palette. Like, but it is amazing. Like, hold on the side because she's coming. But here... We have in the palette there's sunburst, golden bronze, bubbly, and dripping in gold. Now before I bought it, I did a whole bunch of reviews on it to make sure that it actually, you know, like it was actually worth buying. But when I was looking at the reviews, I seen that these two colors here literally are I feel like if she was gonna give us a palette that these it should have been a different range of colors, but dripping in gold and bubbly are kind of the same like I really feel like they're the same color I really don't see a difference I don't really I can't really tell dripping in gold is just a little bit more darker and it has more of a darker tone to it and um they're kind of the same hey everybody he just wants to see anyway don't mind him that's my boyfriend and the other ones are Golden Bronze and Sunburst. Sunburst is a little bit too light for me and I really haven't used it yet. Like, I really haven't used it and Dripping in Gold is absolutely my favorite one in here. Because of my skin tone, it probably looks the best to me. It gives me like that goldish, goldish look, that bronze look. And I just love the way it goes on my skin and these are so smooth. And it's like you get what you pay for. It came out this big. Like, this is huge. And I wish I had something to compare it to. I mean, this is the size of one of my Max um, uh, highlighters. And then look at this one. So that's a good size. To me, it's a good size. Compared to like a small eyeshadow or something, this is a really good size. And they're retractable. So you can take them out and I wonder if she's going to come out with something else because if you can take these in and out, I wonder how you can make it. It may be if I would have bought the other palette, then I could have um, taken those out and put them in. But let me get on to the next because I'll probably can go, about, go on about this little kid for days. <sighs> I'm going to talk about my Alice in Wonderland. I'm in love with Disney movies. Like, for me to be 20 years old, I probably would never grow out of Disney movies. Like, I'm in love with the first Alice in Wonderland. So when this comes out, trust me, I will be in the theaters that night. <laughs> Found out that Urban Decay was making this, I had to get it. Like, 
who does not love Urban Decay and who does not love Disney? Like, what? So, this is the Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. This first, when you take it out. So when you take it out, you're going to see that it has um, a little mirror here. So it says, I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. Yeah, I'm not sure what that one is. I don't want to sound illiterate, but that's what it says. So you open up those, you open up these flaps. I wish I still had some flaps. You open up these flaps, and the butterfly comes out, and it's as you move the, um, the, the doors to this, the flaps to the butterfly moves. Well, maybe to me they move. Maybe it might just be me. Yeah. The flaps to the butterfly move. And I think that is so pretty. Yeah. Alright, so let's get on to the colors. So I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, and it came with a really pretty brush. Like, I, how can you not go wrong? Like, Urban Decay is really like good with these. They always add brushes in their palettes, and I love it. So, I'm not gonna swatch all of these for y'all, but I am gonna tell you that I'm in love with this whole palette because of colors. Like, I love colors, color, color, colors. I like to experiment and just play, you know? Like, you never know what you can come out with, but a lot of these I'm ready to try. Like, Hatter. Look how pigmented that is. This is pretty. Like, I cannot wait to try this color. That on my arm. I cannot wait. And then um I like um metamorphosis. It's beautiful. Now this is a beautiful blue color. Like I've seen somebody on Instagram make a cut crease with this blue and I really think it, it came out great. And you know I love these some pink. So I'm going to swatch Kate. This is the color. That is just so pretty. It's like a purpley violet on me, but I'm really in love with this color. It's really pretty. But overall, I'm really satisfied with the palette because the colors, the colors are just a really wide range. And I mean, look at the packaging. Of course, there was going to be some different colors in here, and I'm just in love. They have a lot of matte colors and a lot of glittery, and they have a lot of um, metal-looking colors here, like um, Slays and Grum. This is really pretty, and I put it over Hatter, so, but that is beautiful. This color is pretty. I'm ready, I'm ready to wear this color. So I'm glad I'm swatching this because I'm excited. Like, whoa, look at that. I'm ready to use this. I'm excited. So, let me get on to the next one because I probably can talk about this stuff for days. And these are things that I've just gotten. So I kind of am making a video about new stuff, old stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, then I got a lipstick in the collection i didn't want all of them because i know some people collect makeup but i'm more about what i like so i don't want to buy something and it just sits there i probably just buy it for packaging so i'm not a big fan on that anymore i waste a lot of money that way it'll help out when i make a makeup collection video because i'll just have all of them but i'm not one of those so i had got the alice one it's like a new color because y'all know that's right up my alley <laughs> <laughs> but it it comes off as a pink on my skin color like maybe on women with lighter colors they come off you know maybe like a nude but it comes off as a pink on me and check me out y'all know I love me some pink so this color is perfect for me and this is the color Alice in the Urban Decay um Alice through the Looking Glass collection, and I love this color. I just like everything new. I'm gonna get out of that comfort zone. I have a lot of dark colors, but I'm gonna get out of that comfort zone. Next, on to skin, uh, skin product. Yes, this is a lot of random stuff, but I have some Parmer's Skin Success. It's anti-dark spot vaporing. Now let me tell you, 
This is from Walmart. It's not one of those expensive things that I see a lot of YouTubers talk about. Some stuff that you probably wouldn't spend $70 on. Now, this is Palmer's Fade Cream, and I've been using it for about a month and a half now, and I have a lot of dark spots. So you notice that I do a lot of color correcting, but this has really helped me. Like, I've never got rid of any dark spots so fast. Like, I feel like just me having dark skin is easier for me to get dark spots. I don't understand. But this cream has really been helping me out. When I go to work, I usually don't wear makeup anymore because it's starting to get hot outside you know me being an army we're constantly moving so I try not to wear makeup to work anymore but I definitely do put this on my face and it works wonders like I love it like I really 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 love this now I do babies um this is my first time ordering from dose of colors and I'm highly 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 satisfied these are 18, wait, 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 which one's 18? The lip glosses are 15 a piece, and the matte lips, liquid lipsticks are $18 a piece. And I'm going to swatch both of these for y'all, of course. So, I got Bellini in a lip gloss, and I was looking at my lip glosses, and I didn't notice that I had a CoverGirl one already in this color, but this is more pigmented. I probably wouldn't even have to use a lipstick under this to get the color that I want. So, I'm going to swatch this for y'all. It comes up so bright and it's so vibrant. Like, this speaks spring and summertime. Like, y'all know me. I love those pinks, oranges, nudes. This is right up my alley. And this color is just so pretty. It's like, it's like an orange with like a tint of like glitter. Basically, like, you wouldn't have to put any highlighter on top of this because it just already has that highlighting effect. Then I got Desert Suede. Now, I thought this was a gray. And it's more of a, like, a nude. So, and that's so crazy because I have a ColourPop color like this and it makes me look like my lips are, like, don't exist. So, I probably use this in the inner corner of my lips with a dark color on the outside. But I'm going to swatch this one for y'all. And wait, pause. Before I swatch this, the wands on these are amazing. They're so soft. And like, I'm not, like I'm just starting this beauty stuff like on videos and testing out new makeup. But these brushes are A1. Like I've never bought from a brand and the wands are this different and they just feel amazing on my lips. So, who knows? It's colors. Because y'all really doing it right now. <laughs> but now I'm going to swatch this color. It's more of a nude. But not much of a nude on me. I swear I thought this was gray. But it's not. It has more of a brown pinkish undertone. But I can deal with it. I can wear it. I'm going to use it in the on basically like on the inner corner of my lips it makes it basically looks like my new color fresh brew that I get from Mac so definitely 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 gotta be using this now Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter I see my best friend build on me she can't help this <laughs> now I have my Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter now I just picked this up in the store just to buy it that's sad I have a bad makeup addiction I just bought it. Now, I'm dissatisfied because it came on to me. It doesn't seem to, it doesn't play a pace place for me as a highlighter. This seems more of a blush to me and I don't, I don't like it. So, when it comes to the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and compared to this, this gets a thumbs down. So I just bought this, but I wanted to tell y'all about it because, and this is the color Fireball. I wish I would have waited and got another color because I'm not satisfied with this Urban Decay. This is the color that should have stayed in. So I wish I would have gotten another one, but I'm going to use this as a blush. And I'm not going to use this for a highlighter. Yeah, it's not going to work for me. So let's put this back. Alright, well, from Urban Decay, it is my this slick, this slick, oh, couldn't get it out, this slick 
makeup setting spray. Now, this is for my ladies with the oily, oily skin. Like, mwah. Like, this really, really, really helps me out. It sets my makeup, makes my makeup last all day. But, y'all know, it's makeup. It's not going to sit on your face like how you want it to. So, definitely, I love this with a passion. Like, it makes my face feel a lot tighter. And it just, like, you just, you just, I just feel the oils, like, seeping through my face. And that is just going to work out, work out fine. But, I... But I really, 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 really love this makeup setting spray. Like, this is by far the best. And hands down, this is just it. Like, I don't even use Fix Plus anymore. I don't even buy Fix Plus. I buy this. So this is my holy grail. This is my go-to. Because you, as you can tell, the bottle is dirty and I've had it for a while. But I really, really love this setting spray. And... Honeys, that is it for today, and that is all I have to talk about for this video today. I just wanted to talk to y'all about new things, my favorite products, and some things I really feel like y'all ladies should go pick up, you know, my, for my ladies with the oily skin. I'm sorry, y'all, for the normal dry skin. I can't really help with the skin products, but I'm going to try. I'm going to test out some more makeup companies, you know some different things so I can show them to y'all but this is more it's not really of a haul but this is just my review on some things that I've been buying I really hope y'all enjoyed my video today and as you can tell my best friend stepped out <laughs> but I really hope y'all enjoyed my video and I'll see y'all next time bye Mwah.